In July 2008, then News Journal reporter Wes Ferguson and photographer Jacob Croft Botter took a trip down the Sabine River for a series of articles printed on four consecutive days in the newspaper. The idea was born of Ferguson's realization that although he had crossed bridges above the Sabine River countless times, he had never actually explored this storied but often overlooked waterway in his own backyard. During the trip, the pair fished, camped on sandbars, got lost, were shot at, and befriended the outlaws and self-described river rats who made their homes in camps and shanties along the river's banks. An editor at Texas A&M University Press saw the series and asked the pair to just keep going all the way to the Gulf. That trip and more about the river is documented in a new book titled Running the River, Secrets of the Sabine. And during the pair's initial journey, there was one part of the river which they couldn't traverse. And we had just gone past the Highway 42 bridge where all the oil derricks are. And we came around a bend and we saw this massive log jam that uh, we couldn't get across. And we ended up having to backtrack and then catch a ride all the way to Lakeport at Highway 149. It always stuck with us that we were never able to see the part of the river that's closest to Longview. As the book's release neared, Ferguson and Botter decided to go back to that stretch of Sabine, which had previously foiled them. Even though it's so close to Longview, it seemed really remote, and a lot of it was just wilderness. Um, we saw a lot of uh, interesting rocky terrain that you don't usually associate with East Texas landscapes. The river was up and moving pretty swiftly, so we made really good time. Uh, we met a few people fishing for catfish, and they shared a lot of interesting stories and ended up giving us their can of worms so that we could try our hand at fishing later, too. Yeah, we really wanted to close up that link in our journey on the Sabine River, and once we did, it felt really good. 